Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing the Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Doug Smith Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in American Fork, Utah, for me some time with this Compass. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 24 around town and then 32 on the highway with power outputs being about 200 horsepower and then 221 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, taking a look at the hood, you guys can see the decal here in the center, and then also we got the Trailhawk logo built in there. Really sharp looking headlight design, and then look at the grille as well. I like the coloration there. Got the red tow hooks here at the bottom, and then notice how the front bumper's been sculpted for approach angle, also fog lights. And putting it all together for a compass, I mean, this thing looks pretty rad. Our tire and wheel setup is 215, 65, 17 in the front and over in the rear. You can see that the wheel is completely blacked out. Also notice the trim here with the fender flare and then also along the side. Compass badge, got the trail rated badge as well and then notice how all this trim is blacked out. And then here's your full side view with the Compass Trailhawk. Now take a look at the key fob, you guys can see we've got our lock and unlock function. We also have the remote start function and then we got the Jeep logo there on the back. And popping into the rear, although the compass is a smaller size crossover, it has quite a bit of storage space here in the back. Also got a 12 volt here in the back, and if we lift this up, you can see you got a spare tire underneath as well, which looks pretty knobby. That'd be great if you uh, get lo or flat tire in an off-roading situation. I don't know why I said lost. Anyways, that's the cargo area. I'm just going to close this before I make myself look dumber. Now here's our taillight design in the rear, and then you guys can see with the Trailhawk badge and then the recovery point. And then putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the looks here with the compass. Now take a look at the door panel, you can see the red stitching here and then the padding down below and then I like this trim around the handle itself. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see with the red stitching there on the sides and then look at the inserts here, that's pretty cool. Legroom in the compass is actually pretty good, we got a little storage pocket, we've got some vents here in the center, USBs, 12 volt down below, and then headroom, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel, you guys can see soft touch here, and then look at the stitching down below. We've got all of our window controls, front two are automatic, got our mirror adjustments, and then notice the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then taking a look at the seat, you guys can see trail lock down below, and look at the cloth there in the center. Got the red stitching here on the sides, power adjustments as well, and then we've got all of our light controls here, and then I like this trim. I think that looks pretty nice, and then also soft touch on the dash. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see soft touch all around. You got red stitching there in the center. Rated controls on the back. We also have our controls to the adaptive cruise control, controls to the center stack as well. And then you can see the regular stocks there on the back. And then taking a look at the gauge cost, you can see analog gauges on either side. Then we do have a screen there in the center, which gives us a little bit of information here on the compass itself. And then this is where we can also see the different drive modes. Got a snow mode, we have a sand mud, and then we have a rock mode that we can go into as well. Now in reverse, we have a backup camera there with trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. You can also zoom in as well, which is a nice feature. As for the rest of the infotainment system, it is a touchscreen. Um, takes a second for some of the pages to load up, but it responds pretty well overall. And um, we do have dual zone climb. We also have heated seats and a heated steering wheel. And then down below, you guys can see the auto stop start here with the stability control and then your lane departure, hazard lights, and then parking sensors. And then again with that soft touch trim, continues all along there and then on the dash. So very kind of like premium look and same thing with that. It helps out as well. And pretty big glove box. Got our analog controls here for the climate and for the radio. And then we got a little bit of storage up front here as well. Shifter there for the eight speed automatic. Got our parking brake right next to it. And then our drive mode select. Kind of hard to see the drive modes. We also have our four wheel drive low. We've got our hill descent control, four wheel drive lock, and then some cup holders. And then look at the center console. Um, and then nothing up top. Now sorry about the glare, but anyways, 2024 Compass Trailhawk, uh, 36,000 base MSRP after all options on this one, 40,165 is the total MSRP. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors just do a blind spot monitoring. 
in for the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the Compass Trailhawk. Um, so first off, seat comfort with the little inserts is actually pretty dang good. I do like that. So I think that's a positive right off the bat. And also, turbocharged engine seems to be pretty peppy right off the bat too. Okay, so actually getting up and moving here in the Compass Trailhawk. Again, I'm noticing quite a bit of uh, torque right off the bat. So I think that's a, I'd say that's a big plus, right? Something that you always uh, wanna have with a vehicle. Now, aside from the uh, torque that I've been talking about, I like the I like the overall feel of this cabin. I think I've done a good job with all the soft touch trim to kind of make it feel a bit more uh, upscale, basically. So I think that that's a big plus. And I think I mean uh, it seems like other automakers are starting to do this, but I like also like the different types of uh, material use. I think that that also helps out quite a bit. Now get on the interstate here and kind of see what the acceleration is like. Hey again, this four cylinder is not bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't call it like insanely fast or anything, but I mean, it moves. And again, being turbocharged helps out quite a bit. You know, we're at I think like 4,500 feet elevation here, roughly. So being at slightly higher elevation, it does does have its benefits. So to sum things up here with the Compass Trailhawk. I think something was really cool on the outside. Now, is it uh, a real off-roader? I guess, and the answer is it does have some off-road tech, right? It's got the four-wheel drive lock. It's got the four-wheel drive low. It's got the off-road drive modes. So Jeep has added some stuff to this to make it, you know, more capable off-road. But I mean, outside of uh, what do they call the Jeep Jamboree folks that will take, you know, compasses and Grand Cherokees through crazy stuff that regular people would never take them through. Um, I think it's more of like a camping trail vehicle, and you'll have a lot more success with this compared to you know, a regular crossover that doesn't have a, you know, four wheel drive low and doesn't have the off-road drive mode. So this will be able to handle more than like, I don't know, Toyota RAV4, for example. But, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to uh, be doing anything crazy at Moab anytime soon. Again, that's still going to be reserved for stuff like the Wrangler. But I, I think it's still cool they make it. I mean, outside of the capability, just with how this looks, I think that part of it's really cool. And that 8-speed automatic transmission is really quick to shift. I like that, too. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Compass Trailhawk.